I just shaved my read a little bit. I took some really fine sandpaper and I just, I know it's not proper, but I just, um, I took it and I just gently rubbed um, while I rotated it so it kept in its shape. I did it on both sides, even though, I mean, one side vibrates more than the other, but we'll see how that goes. If it improves the sound. We'll see. Definitely a lot easier to vibrate the reed, which is fantastic. So that tells me that my reed's a little strong for me. Um, when I got it, it is, I don't know if you can see, oh, it's kind of faded out, but it had like um, an M on it, so I'm guessing it's medium. Um, because I'm a beginner, I probably need a lighter one, or I'll just like shave off the mediums. Um, it could stand to use more shaving, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it. I'd rather take um, not, enough, not enough off than too much and completely destroy the reed. So let's just do it now. think the sounds different um, I think oh, hold on let's see what it sounds like um, I feel like it's clear to be completely honest um, let's try it with the pirouette on sounds clear to me so that tells me that that was a good idea to shave some off of there oh and I also was reading up um, on the sham a little bit and the lower joint so this joint is basically a resonating chamber and it just makes it like amplifies it um, according to the article I read you can play it with just this so let's just try it I don't know how this is going to sound though. So, <laughs> one thing I noticed right away, the tuning, my god. <laughs> it's a lot different. Um, yeah. I'll play a little C with the bell on. Terrible at the end, but whatever. And then without the bell. Ooh, here's... Different, right? So tuning issues. <laughs> it almost, it will not almost. It does change the pitch, which is interesting. Hmm. Well, anyway, this gives me a good opportunity to show you guys. For the instrument, I'll just show, I'll show you the uh, the bell first. So that's it inside. Um, as you can see, it's a fairly wide chamber. It's fairly wide. All right. Yeah, it's just complete wood. There's no metal or anything inside it. This side, on the other hand, because of the vocal, it has metal in it. But I don't know if you'll be able to. You look to the outside, and if you'll notice, oh gosh, I wish I had like a flashlight with me. 
notice on the inside it goes to a smaller chamber I don't know if you can notice that kind of you can kind of see it it goes into like a smaller chamber than this one no it's actually it's about the same and maybe a little smaller not much more no not much more but it is a little smaller so in essence the the board gets smaller as you go up the instrument and as you go down it gets bigger until you hit the bell or it just goes like nades out the bell is just used for venting and uh, amplification that's what this essentially is for because apparently you can play it without the bell but i don't know it just sounds kind of weird actually let's play the piece that i'm doing Oops, I need my weed. <laughs> that will work. There. Let's put some pirouette on. There. Hmm. I was, oh, hold on. Okay, you see the whole thing? Yeah, okay, good. All right, so let's play a little bit of that song. I can get my fingers right. think was better which one do you think was worse um, I personally think that without the bell it's a lot worse <laughs> um, just because of um, tuning um, it also changes the sound of it because the bell is for the, um, the amplification and resonating resonating um, it just it gives it I want to say it gives it a more warm feel. Now it sounds ironic because like the shop is not very warm sounding, but it gives it a warmer feel because if you, I mean, maybe some of you disagree with me, but like when it's without the bell, it, it doesn't sound as, it sounds brighter, uh, more nasally to me, um, but when the bell is on, um, I feel that has a warmer tone to it warmer color. Um, it's kind of funny because um, in the article that I was reading that said you could play it like this um, without the bell, also said that um, when the sham was invented, um, it, in it was intended to imitate the sound of the voice. Now, <laughs> I know some people that are loud and obnoxious, <laughs> which would fit the description of the sham, but like, on a whole, people's voices are not loud and bright and obnoxious. Um, now I say like the word obnoxious, and like don't get me wrong, I love the sound of the sham, like with other instruments, but alone it's just like it's kind of overwhelming to me. Um, but I still like it. I think it's got a cool sound to it. It's really unique. You don't hear anything like it um, in this time. So I don't know. It's it's kind of cool. 